Here is a close up of the backyard, lots of dead leaf, and after 15 days, I now know that onion grass and paspalum are not affected by plant growth regulator. The things you know, right? G'day, and welcome to another video from Dave V Lawn. Temperatures today are 33 degrees Celsius with 98% humidity. We've had rain for 13 out of the last 15 days since I sprayed the plant growth regulator. As soon as the sun comes out, whoa, that humidity just ramps up. Just think about this, at 100% humidity, that should be solid water, right? Well, no actually, it means the air is holding 98% of the amount of water it is able to carry as water vapour. I never knew that either. The leaves on the front lawn really are just mocking me now. I'm sure the tree with its feathery inhabitants are just dropping leaves and twigs so they can watch me toil away removing them. And the poster is up to their usual habit of choosing to ride over waterlogged soil rather than riding on the actual road. With the high humidity, there have been a few technical issues with cameras stopping recording, etc. So this video is just going to be what it is. Hopefully, Santa will bring some new camera gear. Out the back, you can see that the lawn has not really grown all that much. This mow is really just a light trim and tidying the edges. There is definitely some yellowing in high traffic areas, like on the way to the bug vac when i apply the plant growth regulator again next week i am going to avoid spraying those areas and let them grow back in that's going to be the plan across the entire yard also where there has been some yellowing with wear Other than that, the PGR has certainly slowed down the frequency of mowing. This is actually 9 days since the last mow, and there really is not much in the way of clippings. In fact, I am actually surprised, and I thought at best I would still be mowing weekly, just not 2 or 3 times a week. Judging by this though, I could probably leave it 2 weeks between mows if I had to. During the week, I logged into the Sygentia website and used their Growing Degrees Days calculator. I'll put that link in the description. This is a free service and can really help to calculate when you're due to reapply the plant growth regulator. The target is to apply when the total score is at 280 out of a maximum of 300. Depending on your area, you may or may not get more or less days based on your climate from each application of PGR. Currently, I'm on a schedule to reapply at the three week mark. I'm still intending to run the program until after New Year's and then I'll reevaluate. One of the main advantages I've noticed so far, apart from mowing less frequently, is simply that the stripes stay around for much longer. I'm still seeing them after seven days, which is really nice. Usually, they will grow out within two to three days. So, seeing how they are sticking around, I might do a double cut next week just to get the checkerboard pattern and see how long it lasts.
Out the front is pretty much the same, but it is far more noticeable the amount of yellowing due to wear. The spot where the car is parked really does not cope with the damage of a vehicle. I'm definitely not going to spray PGR in that area next week. In the letterbox zone, I began to notice that the grass is tightening up. There is little in the way of clippings here, but the canopy is knitting together and that is very encouraging. In the area between the trees, you can see that the ground has become rutted thanks to the posty. I've stomped down some of the main ruts, but I am likely going to need to top dress with sand once the ground firms up.
Again, no irrigation today. I think it'll be about a week before any irrigation is required. I'll be reapplying PGR in the next video, I think. So hopefully we get a few dry days in before that needs to be sprayed on. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. See you next time. Uru.